Don't try to be clean when you're riding around with Brian. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Look at these guys. This is what this is what it's all about right here. <laughs> All right, we're out driving around uh, doing some vlogging with Brian and we're gonna check in on the guys. Are they starting a job today? Starting a job today. This is uh, a rehab project and they've actually kept it very, very maintained and clean. Just kind of want to upgrade, get uh, their more into the fish than they ever thought they would be and want some more room for the fish. And so uh, we're more than tripling the size of this pond with nice. big, big waterfalls and some bridges and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get to see a walkthrough, right? Yeah, so I'm just, uh, Chris is out here. They've already started the demo and uh, I just want to kind of go over everything with the customer and make sure we're still on the same page and everybody's happy with the progress. So it's always fun. Things happen so fast. This How's it going? Yeah, correct. The owner. Nice, yeah. Nice to meet you. Right. What's your name? Frank. Frank. All right. Yeah. So you've had a pond for a long time, I've heard, yeah, huh? Yeah, about 13, 14 years. Excellent. So we're making it a lot bigger, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Rudy really Thomas put in the original one. Great guy. All right, so this is the demolition of an existing pond that's been here for 13, 14 years. What a beautiful, beautiful location. I mean, so Brian, what are we doing here? The big thing was a, a taller waterfall. Uh -huh. We're gonna move the waterfall a little bit more to the right, almost where the Russian sage is sitting. Okay. which gives us more room to move the berm out a little bit more. It also makes it a little bit more visible from inside. We'll probably get that up about a foot to right. 16 inches higher than what it's at. Yeah. Well, I'm making sure he can hear too, Greg, okay. right? Because I know it's important to you, but yeah, he's so paying I... for it. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, explain what you're doing here, buddy. Currently, we're just demoing the old pond so we can get out with the old, get a fresh slate, or a clean slate, and get in with the new. Hottest September ever on record. But when you're this cool, it doesn't really matter. like to paint it out really for our guys but it's more so for the customer and it's super important to do that with everybody here together so there's nothing lost in translation so many times when I'm designing I'm like yeah we'll just do this and we'll do that and we'll do this and the marking paint gives an exact idea of where that pond is gonna go and so now we're gonna take this we got uh, this big area here bio falls is gonna sit someplace around here dropping right into the pond decent sized berm over this way you can see where it's choked down right here. We have a big bridge coming in in this spot over here and then it's gonna balloon back out over that way. will look a lot different because we're gonna have bigger boulders and all that kind of stuff in it so all that's get, getting love, completely changed i love that effect yeah. all right you said there's conduit that goes from there to here but i do and, want to bring that and this cable there. so this cable runs the power the all right but we just if keep it could, close if they could keep it close i don't know if you're going to move up to like a course of brick you could put that underneath the brick sure to hide it yeah, Not but I do want to bring this pond in really close to here and then yeah. deep right off of this so the fish can swim right up into this area. That'd be great. This grass may or may not stay. Go. Take, Take it. it. Stay. All right. I mean, keep a stand of it, but uh, yeah, otherwise it blocks the view. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What I'll do is 
Brian is enough, up, whatever you take out, I'll probably move it back there. Yeah, I never realized great. it got this tall. Yeah, it'll look great on the back side. Yeah, I'll put it on the back side. The pond is still deep over on this side, so we're still going you know, 18 inches of water or so on this side. I found you the coolest thing ever. I think it's cool. It's a solid slab of wood. It's like four inches thick. It's yeah. a center cut right out of a tree with the bark still on each side. It's all been lacquered and finished and everything else. Nine feet long. I can get a bridge now this long. Oh, okay. Right, and it still comes way over into here. So instead of like a big piece of stone, yeah. it's this really cool piece of wood. Now, is the wood gonna rot? I mean, is that no. gonna be like we've had, we've got the same stuff. I couldn't find somebody to rebuild it for me, but we built one about 15 years ago in Naperville, yeah. and it's still as solid as can be. And because yeah. we were thinking stone, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's, you'll like the wood. Okay. Right now, I you can't span something. Else. I can't span it that far. So this allows me to get it this wide. Okay. Or I can do a piece of stone. I just got to bring it in, you know, yeah. a foot and a half on each side. Oh. Okay. But I wanted to give you more water. Then the pond's gonna sweep out hard this way to about here. And then it'll sweep back in and curve back over in there. And then I'm gonna get your skimmer box over in here. So he's got his ferry cable here. Mm -hmm. Something 100% we can't cut because he does his business from That's what he inside there. This morning, yeah. So we'll have the guys gently try to find it and locate it here. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the bio falls to sit, you know, in here okay. someplace, but you gotta lower it. And so sure. I just don't wanna put it right on the cable. Sure. The pond is supposed to come to it right about where this is at. Uh -huh. And so if we have to pull the biofalls back a little bit, then so be it. Okay. You know, and then we'll just put dirt over the top of it. Okay. So we don't deal with it. We also have to, the electric right now comes from the corner of the patio there. Right. We have to run a piece of conduit right along the edge of this. Okay. I don't want to go around this because then you'd have to cross mm -hmm. this. So I want to find it here, run that piece of conduit here. Okay. All the way to the skimmer box sitting on this back side of the pond. I'll show you in a second. Okay. We're going to take that grass out yep. or leave them a piece of it. Get that biofalls, you know, obviously. Well, they'll be moved out completely, but leave a piece for me to plant back Oh, here. plant back yep. over in here. Yeah. All right. I don't, I'm not going to, because I'll block it again in sure. a few years. And just take all that out. Yep. All right. This just gets blended back into this. Okay. You know, you can just figure out the berm and all that kind of all stuff. Right. I would keep these flags marked. Mm -hmm. And we're going to run in that sod cutter mm -hmm. and stuff. Sure. Like mark it so we don't lose it, you know, right. the last day somewhere. The wood bridge. All right. Here, okay. which gives us that big wide width oh for the, the pond. The pond width is 17 feet. So I have 27 by 17. Okay. So the liner gives you enough to go three feet deep. Skimmer box someplace over here. I'm right. thinking more over like on this side. Bio falls here, bio falls there, then jets over by the patio. Yeah, okay. This should still be 18 inches deep Okay. in this area. And then on this side of the bridge, you can start dropping down quite okay. a bit and then we can bring the pond up close into the patio on that side yep. i think you'll be good on the dirt by the time we take this deeper and we mm -hmm. get all of that plus we're going 17 inches that way he wanted to keep some grass down yeah here. so we can keep a grass pathway almost right you know maybe two feet yep. two feet of the bridge yeah So Brian, what percentage of our jobs is rebuilding <laughs> an existing water feature? You know, unfortunately, I don't know if it's unfortunate or not, but I would say 70%. Wow, yeah, so more than really... half of our jobs are enlarging a pond or fixing a problem pond. Yeah, and I guess there's there's two ways to look at it. You could look at it as like, I don't want to see that because there's so many problem ponds mm -hmm. right out there and we're fixing them. The other side of that coin is, you know, it's kind of like a kitchen. After 15, 20 years, yes. it's just ready for a facelift. And technology has changed and our skill sets have changed. And Well, and so the fact is that he's enjoyed it so much over the last 13 plus years that he's ready to invest and make yeah. it twice, more, twice, more than twice as big. Uh, three times the size. Three times the size. Yeah. All right. Hey, this is what Team Aquascape, the channel Team Aquascape is all about. Uh, it's about, about 
showing the construction process. It's about the techniques. It's about the before and after. So if you want to see the construction, check out Team Aquascape and like, comment, subscribe so more people can see what living the Aquascape lifestyle is all about. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. see another one. <laughs>